Hey, it's Turkey Wing Day. If you can't uh, roast one, at least you can tie one on. So here's our project for today. It's a, a turkey wing with broom, and it originated supposedly from the Cherokee who used to use actual turkey wings as a broom. And from there came the tied turkey wing. What we've done is I've, I've taken, actually i got some color in this, so I have taken, oh, that's about a pound or a half a pound of broom corn. And you notice that I put some black and some dyed in here and kind of be a little festive for harvest. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with uh, just an overhand knot on this. And then we're going to do the knot that slides. And up the slides comes up like this, and then you flip it down and bring it from the top. Let's watch it again. The knot that moves on the long string. Well, I've got my loop over my fingers, across it here. I hold it there for a second, turn it upside down, and then grab the long string. I'll just look at it one more time. I lift it over my hand, the tail end that has the uh, overhand knot is at the end. I'm going to hold it right there where it crosses, turn it upside down, go through the hole, and grab the long string. And that will make it slide on this long string versus this one, and it can cinch that knot up tight for you. Okay, so let's get started on broom corn. And the reason for that is, is because you're going to put your hand on it, right? And sweet. So make sure you don't have too much. I like to mix it up a little bit with some color. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this. The easiest thing to do is kind of separate it in half and then take that and separate that in half. And then take this and separate it in half. And then take those and separate those in half. We're going to stack them one on top of each other just so they're easy to get to. It's not rocket science. You don't have to wait out. It's just an educated guess. Okay. All right, so these are all ready to go. I wrapped it three times. I'm going to grab my second. And I want to make sure, I'll just get rid of those. I want to make sure that they're flat. And I'm going to put them underneath and then line them up with my base down here. And then I'm going to do an advance. So an advance looks like that. And then we're just going to wrap a couple more times. And then grab your next bit. And actually, I think I'll, I'll cut this one one more time. The more layers that you have, the more wraps that you have, and it just makes for a more dramatic width for them. Alright, so I'm going to do an advance, and then I'm going to wrap two or three times. Okay, so you always want to do your advances on the same side. <coughs> I'm going to put it down here in front. Pull it over just a little bit, hold it, and then wrap. And there's my advance. Now remember this is a turkey wing, and turkey wings are kind of flared out, so we're going to flare that out just a little bit as we're working on it. And I'll do one more wrap here. Okay, so here's my advance. I'm going to bring it out just a little bit. Grab my other piece of broom corn. Stick that underneath there. Make sure I'm sort of lined up there, and take that advance, wrap it up, do it about three times. And when you're doing turkey wings, you don't have to have the broom corn wet. Okay? So, I'm going to do another advance, put that in the front, line it up, turn it over a little bit, give it a wrap. I'm going to bind it off for three rows. Okay. 
it's more easy and flexible to um, try to put a curve in that now than to wait until it's all the way done. So I'm going to take that, split it once again. Like I say, you don't have to do this many. This makes it look a little prettier. So I'm going to do a, an advance. Bind it off for three. Once again, making sure I got that curve going. And the story goes that the turkey wing broom was used by usually it's called a turkey wing because it actually used to be a turkey wing. Uh, turkey, a turkey wing to sweep. And that's supposedly where this started from. From feathers to broom corn. Okay, so I'm going to um, not split this as much just so I can get through this and show you how it looks like. But you can see the more that you have, the more detailed the work is here. I'm going to keep going with this. I want to make sure that I do my advances on the same side. So I've added one, I'm doing an advance, and then I'm going to wrap for three. And then I'm going to bring it over here again, do an advance, grab another bunch of little corn, stick it in, line it up. Do an advance. So when I get done, and I still have all this left, I'm going to just advance and wrap it all the way up. So you see that all my advances are on one side, and my just wraps are on the other. And depending on, I mean, you don't have to do all these layers, but I think it looks prettier. Kind of blends to the whole turkey wing. So I'm going to match it up again, do another advance, and wrap for three times. I've got two sections left, and like I say, I could split them, but I just want you to get the basic idea. I uh, do advances, and bind off. Uh, the next one we're going to do is a turkey wing with a handle. So it would be like a turkey wing broom versus a turkey wing whisk broom. More of a sweeper. Okay. This is my last layer that I'm so I really want to make this turkey wingish. Okay, so There's my advance. This is my one, two, three wrap. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep going up this by doing an advance and then bind it on for three. Again, I'm going to do an advance and bind off for three. Okay, I 
to probably do two more and then I'll trim this off so that it's even. You need to remember that at the end of it, and you're going to do your last wrap. Like this will be my last wrap, I think. Before I start, I'm going to put my jerk string in. Oops, for some reason, it got to be a really big jerk string. And I'm right handed, so I want the knot to the right because that's the way I pull. Nice and flat. Okay. I'm going to call that good. So I'm going to cut this off. Hold it pressure with my thumb, switch that just so I don't lose it, take that tail that I just cut off, thread it through that loop, and this is way too long, and then I'm going to make it harder to do that, jerk it through, there you go, so those jerk strings don't have to be that long, and in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie this back through here, so i got a loop to hang that up. And then, I'll, like I said, I'll trim this up so it's nice and pretty. But that is a turkey leg. Hey, it's Jill. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and like our videos and subscribe. That way you're always updated on anything basket related that we have on our Jill Show Basketry channel. You won't miss a thing. Please like us and subscribe. See you next time.